Hello everyone, welcome back to some another episode of this game we're playing. Uh, we've been rolled back quite a long way in our Dismal Ubi Liet attempts, which is saddening, but manageable. We basically have to do the whole level again, and I was talking about whether this might be the one where there is some uh, magical vertical pillar of lava involved. I haven't... Um, read any comments if anyone's made any because I'm still recording since the same day. You all understand how this works by now because all the time do I tell you about how you're all in the past and, and I'm in the past and you're all in the future. I was nearly rude without, uh, you know, I, I, I don't mind being rude to people, you know, it's only good fun, honestly. If I if I genuinely offend anybody, I, then I apologise, but in the t most of the I'm offending people on purpose because I think they can take it. I don't deny this, and I will probably continue to do it whether or not you appreciate it. Consider uh, yourselves lucky if you earn m my regard sufficiently to be insulted by me. I'm sure there's something here. Where are you? This feels so familiar! I'm sure that I was... There's nothing in there, we know that. Your rockets are up there, so I'm not going to jump in the water in case I accidentally pick up that. HP, which is going to be way more valuable to us as full HP, uh, in its full amount, I should say, than it is to us right now. So just wait for those steps, that's fine, because now you can't get us, and I'm okay with that too. Gradly. Well, we can't get out of here without picking up that HP anyway, I think. Yeah, I did it by accident, even though I was testing it. Fan of these weapons that we've got. I know. Oh, I didn't look for crosshair advice. I did intend to. I remember. <laughs> no, don't. No. I accidentally picked it up again. It's such a good weapon. The power behind it is astonishing. And it keeps giving us more and more opportunities to use it, which is just, you know, just encouraging. It's silly. You should not encourage a player like this to use tactics like that. Well, I'm gonna do it, that's the thing. I'm not gonna apologize for <laughs> firing lightning bolts at things. Oh, if we have the pentagram of protection, of course, you can set up a lightning bolt in the water. Yeah, well, uh, which solves many problems basically immediately. Am I gonna be punished for going this way? Yes. Let's get this out of the way first. Yeah! Look. <laughs> I went much better last time. Okay. Just uh, pay a little bit more attention. Remember, these are really, really old games, and one of the. Let's call it an issue, because it is an issue, but at the time, you know, it, it wasn't that big of a deal because we didn't play these ways that I'm currently playing. We didn't play like idiots, <laughs> running around all the time and just letting enemies get up in our faces and then backing away really fast. We played a little bit more carefully, usually with a, just the keyboard or something like that. Um, so what you end up with is little things you can get stuck on, like you're backing away from here. Oh, interesting. Yeah, like if you're running away from here, in going backwards you bump around it, but going forwards you, huh, interesting. I wonder if that's intentional. Um, but yeah, you can get stuck on stuff and the actual handling of, oh, you're still alive, I forgot that. Of, um, the handling of all those noises, all the time. Where are you? Let's just go in and shoot you. Um, the swimming up and down physics is what I'm specifically thinking of. I didn't expect that. <laughs> Genuinely did not expect that. Let's uh, just aggro this joker. That was a good shot. Well done. Um. It weren't so well handled, you know. We we gained a lot of finesse since Quake came about. Because don't forget, 
No one had done it. Quake was basically the first game that had this much uh, freedom of movement for the player you know, in, in, in the context of the world. It was the first time you could look up and down and you really had to aim properly and all that sort of thing. Obviously, there were we we had a lot of um, do this. No, I thought we get there. Oh, let's do that. Hey, it's I was going to say it's 50 the max, but whoa, what are you doing? Grand. Uh, we might just have to use the quad to deal with that place up there, to be honest with you. We know that there is one, so we don't have to clean out the place at a distance with you know, vague bullets that hardly hit when we can just go up there and waste them with the quad damage that we know about. So we should do that. Uh, we'll get these grenades up here. And we'll actually swim forwards because that seems to be the best way of not getting stuck on stuff. Yeah, cool. no one had done this before. No one had turned this into an art. This was... Anything that happens for the first time is going to be... You might consider it crude, right? Um, I mean, Quake is crude in a sense, but it's still actually very well made considering the uh, industry experience in a game like this at the time was minimal. Right. It's, it used many of the tactics that we that they use in Doom itself. These are the yikes! You can see me. Um, I seem to be permanently shooting that. Yeah, I don't want to be. Well, now I can just kill you, right? Okay, with it. I assume our lightnings have the same range. <laughs> you can see my legs, but I can't see you. I'm actually okay with that. <laughs> Which is, I might think that that's a little bit rude. Good, that's already dealt with. No problems. Don't mind unloading all my shells into this. Shells are relatively cheap. So, we're going to have little issues where, for example, swimming upside down. Swimming downwards whilst trying to swim backwards, for example, might not be the most highly finessed mechanic in the whole game. That's fine, because it made this game. You know, it spawned a generation of games. And game mode. Nope, did that wrong. Just zap them. Nope, just shoot them. Not waste our precious lightning. Yeah, there's only two of them, I think. Let's go up there and have a look. Are we good? Are we all done? Is everybody dead? No, I can see you. Yeah, this is a problem. Bang! <laughs> Bang! <laughs> See, I don't think we would have used tactics like this when we first played the game. Sidestepping with uh, W, A, S, and D was not a thing. We didn't do it. It took a while for that to be learned, and this probably was the game that taught us. Not, not taught us. <laughs> taught us, not, not taught us. Oh, it sounds just, I understand your reluctance. <laughs> oh, anyway, basically, yeah, it seems like those barons that I just fired were basically the ones I was aiming at up here anyway, so I didn't need to go to that much Yeah, you do that. That's really helpful, actually. But let me stand over here. Where have you gone? Back here. You do that. Get out of the water. I don't know whether the super versions of weapons are worth using in many situations. Like the super shotgun. Ow. Certainly seems to do more damage. And it has a greater spread. Absolutely. No, uh, no, no argument there. I think maybe the super snail gun was as well. Put it a snail gun, because I thought it would be funny. Let's get up here quick and use our quad as much as we can. And remember about the secret that contains the, uh, um, 
remember about the secret that contains the pentagram of protection because that's really going to help in the room just around the corner from the pentagram of protection. Yeah, I've got that and that. Got him that time. Last time we tried that, didn't have any quad left. In fact, that was such a long time. Don't accidentally load over the top of the game that you succeeded at. If you can avoid it. Uh, and then let's go and get this HP that I ran straight past and didn't do anything about. And you're all probably yelling at me. Go and get the HP, you monster. Alright, cool. I think we've done much better the second time around because we knew what we were expecting. But even so. Ow. Whoa. How are you getting these up here so well? I think you could falling over for no reason from a simple shotgun shot. That is acceptable to me. Just hide in here. This is fine too. I don't think you would have been doing that sort of dancing around with, uh, with your mouse and keyboard back in 1990 whatever, you know? Um, we, we would have had some idea of maybe that you can use... I mean, mouse look has always been a thing. But we didn't do it? It's hard to describe. Um, at least I didn't. I don't think it got huge traction in the gaming community for quite a while. Um, it really took... It was those nerds again, right? The people who were, uh, you know, super into the games that, that really made the games their own. They, they came up with their own control schemes that allowed them to you know, play the way they wanted to. I'm being very cautious right now. <laughs> you can probably tell. Because I don't want to die again. I want to at least make it to the pentagram of protection before... Um, ah! Well, <laughs> so much for that. <laughs> right. we, we saved it very recently, that's fine. Bang! Right, you know what? Have this. Two can play at that game. Two can play at that game. Oh yeah! So I'm wondering if basically Nightmare Mode would have been way more difficult in the day. Than it is right now. Also, I wish that lift will stop squishing me, because it hurts. And I didn't ask for that behaviour. Seems like a bug to me. Who would build that lift is my, my real question. I do appreciate that it waits for the uh, weapon firing animation to complete before it allows you to change weapon. There is at least some level of balance that we expect from games uh, in 2018, which this is not. I kind of hope that that would hurt it anyway. I'm tempted to just run in. What? All guns blazing, you know? Did it again. Got stuck. Don't stand there. Never learn, do you? What's right mouse button do? Right mouse button is jump. Interesting. <laughs> I was kind of hoping it would be zoom. No, aim. So what we can do is we can bash this wall. Don't aggro anything in there if you can avoid it. Till we've got that. Let me in. Nice. And then you're quite welcome to aggro all that. If you can just do this. And the more splash damage you can do at this point, the better off you are, right? Fewer weapons, fewer, uh, fewer ammo, ammos that you use the best. You're dead. Don't appreciate it. <laughs> Thanks, lift. I almost got squished by the lift. Let's save it because I'm really bad at not getting squished by that lift, which is kind of one of the techniques involved. Right here. Okay, not getting squished. There's only one bullet left. One bullet left. Hey, laughing boy. There was. I know, I know. It was uh, Elmer Fudd, Daffy Duck, and Bugs Bunny. Oh, hello. 
Does that count as a kill? Probably. 64 of 85. I'm hoping skill... Skill 3 really seems to me like... Not enough skill. <laughs> but it also kind of feels hard to do, so... I'm just going to assume that I've got it right. If anybody knows, feel free to correct me. Ooh, don't get squished. Uh, because I'm all for it. You know, let me know if I am accidentally playing this on not hard mode. I kind of expected that to be weird, but they've put a lot of effort into this. You can tell. That hurt. These things have so much HP. It seems a little bit silly. Wow, you ran fast. These things are a bit more easy to dodge than those uh, demon jumpy beastie things. Why are there more? How many knights in one room? King Arthur's Lancelot round table chamber and other such salient but irrelevant words. Uh, that seems like a silly thing to say because salient means relevant. Wow, chill out, ape dog. Good time to save. <laughs> right, we do need to um, actually go downstairs again. And the reason is we now have the key that makes downstairs work before we can change that bridge. I'm guessing that's what's going to happen. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to... Well, we've already found the secret uh, door, right? So let's just hide, because <laughs> I'm scared. Um, scared people hide. It's going to be another one. Uh, that's not what I expected. I don't think we have any uh, lightnings left. So I was just checking there, so... I mean, there's some right next to it, but... If we can kill it like this, we might as well kill it like this. I mean, <laughs> the, the tactics involved in that were probably not the, the most horrendous and complicated to describe, for sure. Grid Whisper. I played Hexen, right? I want these to break. We are finding secrets. Well, we found both secrets anyway, so no. <clears throat> it must have been that I was learning about making Quake maps. Goodness knows how. Because all I remember was... Um, it must have been PC Gamer. Everything came from PC Gamer back in the day. Teaching us how to do everything. It was the same sort of game. Uh, save it now, that's why. You know, just every time we change context, really. Um, I see you up there. Why oh, doesn't count as a kill? Fair enough. Um. Um, I'm out of sync. <laughs> good. More? Why did all these bits fall off of it? Maybe they telecrack one another. Oh, this is horrible, please. I do remember this, though. Um. Yeah, everything seemed to come from PC Gamer back in the day. Uh, yeah, it was akin to. There's a very old standard of. Uh, 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 not standard, but just a, a trope like these things where you would um, back in the day you would copy out from the back of a magazine the code required to run a game <laughs> that was like the very first form of a demo all that weird noise by the way it's the, uh, the uh, interaction between see that? they went down uh, between oh shit I remember you bastards explosive spider dude glad to see that we've still got new enemies to wow me with also glad to see that their rockets travel about as fast as my rockets so I don't have to worry about it too much this might be the end of the chapter yeah there's the rune 
We'll take it, and I guess we're going to go and fight the next uh, end of chapter boss, which I've never done before. <laughs> yep. I mean, it took us 15 minutes. Congratulations, the rune of black magic throbs evilly in your hand and whispers dark thoughts into your brain. You learn the inmost law of the Hell Mother, Shub Nikura. You know, excuse me, know that she is behind all the terrible plotting which has led to so much death and horror. I mean, the game is very much put together out of just scenes, you know, uh, these these levels. Uh, the stitched together in a, a vague way and then you've got this hub that puts the three episodes together because that's how games were made back then. These days you have a very contiguous game and you learn about what's happening as part of the story but there's no story here except for these. Um, but she is not inviolate. Armed with this rune you, you realise that once all four runes are combined the gate to Shub Nikaras pit will open and you can face the witch goddess herself in her frightful otherworld cathedral. So we know about that. Um, it still says skill 3 at the bottom, so I believe, also, we can't get through here. So we've beaten these two. We can't, this is where the secret, this is where, how you get to this, uh, the nightmare mode in the first place. It still says skill 3. So, there was no boss fight at the end of that, but we're going to expect that we have to... Um, see many more of those enemies early on again. So can, can, can we talk about this? First of all, cells. What? Um, why is every episode starting again in this sort of uh, technological sort of area, right? First of all, we're quite likely to get the lightning gun back again pretty soon. Secondly, I... I don't understand why these episodes are stuck together the way they are, because every time we do something, we seem to end up back in some facility that, like, has it got something to do with the, something to do with, I don't know, also, I haven't yet put together the, the noises that I keep hearing, well, what are they? Why am I hearing them? Is it these enemies making those noises? It can't be, surely. But I haven't heard that noise in ages, so it must be something akin to those. So that says go that way. I do remember making a lot of use of these textures. So I must have made many more levels than I remember making, that's for sure. I'm not going to press any buttons in case, you know, <laughs> there's an ambush. I'm not in for an ambush. It's not what I'm here for. Is it just these? I'd rather face these at any day of the week. You can see their, weapon, their shots coming. Dodge them. I've got 34 HP left from the other one. Yeah, you shoot you, and then... Good, right, okay. I'm, I'm conserving ammo, because this has turned out to be a little bit more um, of a surgical manoeuvre than I originally anticipated it might be. Oh, I can see it there, okay. Try not to get hit by that one too much. Now what? There's another one. There you are. The shotgun ones and the pistol ones are the worst. When did I get a super shotgun? <laughs> They're throwing the weapons at me good and fast right now because it's like we might as well get back up to where you were before we started. The, before we left you in the lobby with nothing to your name. Which was very rude, by the way. Can you not? That was 25. That's okay. We needed 20. I don't know, like, the, is it the breathing masks? It's not just a matter of what's the noise for. <laughs> it's more like, uh, what's the... 
What's the loric reason behind the noise? Why? Whose idea was this noise? Uh, let's go somewhere else. Which is fun. Or is it just something I've not discovered yet? That would be fine. It's definitely these things, because it gets louder when I get near them. I'm running around with a quad before I run out of quad. And then after that... Yeah. Then we'll talk about looking for secrets and stuff, because... Like, I'm up here. There's obviously a reason to come up here, because I am up here. So what is it? Ooh. That. Nice. Hello. This reminds me of the uh, areas in Doom 2016. Mm. Which take you back to uh, a level styled after the original Doom. That's very cool. Thanks for immediately dropping me on HP that I now no longer need. I ran past that, I think. Did I? There's another quad. Which means there's another secret, which means we just. Go this. Oh, yeah. That was rubbish. Don't do that. That's alright. We're just around the corner. No problem. I want to go in there, but I haven't seen a protection suit yet. Rockets already? Monsieur, with these rockets, you are really spoiling us. Mm. Well, they both go the same way. Boring. I I'm very much assuming that water that colour hurts. <laughs> Correct me if I'm wrong. Correct me even if I'm wrong to feel that way, you know? I know. I know I found a secret area. Because I saw it, and I will congratulate myself. Ooh, hello. Come back. Not quite. Finally. <laughs> Wasting my quad time. I'm hungry. I've just become hungry. That's a problem, because I would like to eat now, and I don't know if we've got any food available with which to do so. I'm going to use shells. I think shells are going to be the most likely thing to be able to recover easily. I think that's always true, to be fair. It sounded exactly like a, a Windows error sound. Yeah. Okay, good. Uh, how many secrets? Two of five. So we're not going through that yet. Also, I've definitely heard this noise uh, in previous episodes coming out of the walls. Attacking me from the walls. That opens. You know, I'm guaranteeing this opens. So, how is the question? Uh, there's a bloop again. Also, where's my rocket launcher? Because I was given rockets, which means you're basically straight up just promised me a rocket launcher, and you have to give me one now. It's the law. We'll follow backwards our path of destruction from the quad damage. See if we can find something maybe on the ceiling or in other you know, video game trope positions where... There's likely to be a button to press or something like that. You open that door with the quad damage, so we still want to go. Okay, right, we're back here. Um, it does bother me slightly that when you find the 100 health thingy, it counts down again. But it's only because in Doom they didn't do that. This isn't Doom, remember? This is essentially uh, Doom 3. It has many of the same sort of tropes, many of the same. Uh, ideas and if you remember in the actually the first episode if you shot the there was a, a moon or a similar picture on the wall at some point uh, like a, a monitor so you had to shoot or hit and that would open up the thingy I'm very much worried that I'm just going to press the button too long and step into that portal and end the game so let's just save it here because I would like to not accidentally leave this episode leave this uh mission until we found the secret which i apologize if anybody's getting dizzy from me looking around like this but at least it's not vr hmm? see with a splash like this is exactly the sort of thing that means there's a secret here of course there's always that <laughs> yes good thinking uh i guess we try it Yeah, that hurts a lot. A little bit. That hurts a lot. <coughs> However, <laughs> we found 
Oh, it's probably not a secret portal to the... No. Hello. We got all our HP back, which is really good, actually. So it's only one secret through all of it, which makes sense, because they're all linked together, right? Uh, you're doing what now? Back at the start of the whole level. This is the input form, yeah. So now we just look around. We've now found three or five secrets, and I'm convinced there's going to be a, a button or something to wallop. I don't even see this on the way down to it. Um, okay. You need that. Like one of these, um, one of these panels or something is going to open something else, and then there's going to be a whole thing, and then we're going to get oh, this is a secret. So which one? That's the question. Also, I'm pretty sure they won't expect me to just do a little jump and explode all those things. <laughs> I might as well. Might as well be. I'm going to save it, and if it turns out to be rubbish, then we'll see how much rubbish it was. Uh, after all. Okay, that was not great. And then this way? I mean, this is not really filling me full of confidence right now. Okay, yeah, that's, that's why we save. <laughs> I wanted to test it. I didn't want to commit to it because I am uh, afraid of commitment. How do we get up there? Definitely way up there. Not rocket jumping, because you haven't got a rocket launcher, and also it hurts. So, alternatives, please. Uh, Starting to get a little bit bored of looking, so. Short this one up to history, as long as I don't miss the secret level, because I'm expecting, like in the last episode, the last Quake episode, not the last me episode, the last episode of Quake, um, in the, the last episode in the Quake sense, uh, I'm expecting, come on, that it will tell us, it will give us some hints towards where the secret level is, because I guess they want you to play it, right? I also would like that door to open, but about to give up in three, two, one. Show me the money. No money. All right. Don't know where it is. Feel free to leave a comment. I'm pretty sure that's not going to be the secret level that we missed out on, though. So I'm okay with that so far. No. It's a problem because we don't have anything explosive. We've gone away. But now we do. Hey, none of that. I was hoping that we would have found this uh, earlier. Maybe in the previous level. Maybe one of the secrets was our grenade launcher slash rocket launcher. Probably grenade launcher. Rocket launcher comes a lot later in general. It's just a progression, you know. We need to maintain some semblance of uh, nothing there. Uh, some semblance of decorum when it comes to metering out these weapons to you because they can't just give you all the weapons that you had at the end of the last level uh, episode and, and just let you go silly crazy. Might have been a waste of nails. Might have been a great idea since it was accurate and damaged at a distance. Remember about that, but don't pick it up yet. Also, can we talk about this button here? We're just trying to do that. Maybe bring it down so we can press it. it would make sense. Turns out one shot from a grenade launcher. There's gangbusters. Against one of those. I can see that there is a baddie here. Let's aggro it. Is it one of those spiders that shoots rockets? No. It's one of them. Fair enough. Oop, don't fall off. <laughs> Since like we could have just gone round. Well, there's a thing. This is probably where we want to get the, the quad damage. Yep. And keep going because now we've got a quad damage. Alright, 
nice. There's a some Jesus energy thing going on here. What's all that about? Guys! A lot more lava in this episode, I'm noticing. Good push that, yeah. Okay, I'm going to save it because that was noisy and also confusing, and we finished it. <laughs> it, was, it seems like a point at which to stop doing things, so. Okay, it's, but that's a rune portal. Don't understand what they're expressing when some portals have uh, runes on, some of them are just magic portals. Not quite sure what they're expressing when they put portals in what appears to be a technical facility <laughs> for the production of technical facilities. Hey! Turn me up. Okay, that's just straight up there. Fair enough. Oh, we came in. Going down then, I suppose. Bye! <laughs> you all suck. No, I don't. It's nice of them to just give me this opportunity to shoot fish in a barrel rather than having to make me face the actual enemies. <laughs> like a, like an actual game challenge. Maybe I should be just be uh, not cowarding out like this, but here I am. Also... What?! <laughs> that was... I... What? I have no... That was... I just shot the wall to see. That was amazing. Did you see that? Uh, I don't know what weapon I'm using. <laughs> Ring of Shadows certainly has its drawbacks. Can you smell me now? Or what? Guys, here's me just thinking, maybe if I shoot at this Jesus thing, something will happen. The only reason I've even thought that is because back in um, Ziggurat Vertigo, I think there was a Jesus statue like that, containing, um, yikes, containing the health. I bounce off the ceiling. Like the fake ceiling that is the sky, so let's just go in here. Hope for the best. I think we've got enough HP now. Excuse me? Where did you come from? And what gives you the right to think you belong here? Well, we don't like outsiders in these parts. Alright. Now you're done. We can go through this door, which scares me. So let's get that weapon out, because there's a baddie on the other side of it. It's going to be a problem. Hooray! More zombies? Where are you? I don't want to be armed with an explosive weapon in close quarters, but also I don't want to come across zombies and not be able to kill them. Yikes. Even these, uh grenades lying around. It's just very, very dangerous, if you don't mind me saying so. I see the button. don't think I haven't seen the button. The teleport destination pad, I guess. Let's go around the corner. Don't press the button unless you have to. You have to. Okay, cool. Uh, excuse me. No, thank you. Was that a shambler noise? Or was a something noise? But I'm not... I'm, I'm not happy... I'm not a fan of these noises. Where are you? Make yourselves known. Are oh, you down there? I understand. This is my kind of fight. It. You really know how to make games for different types of players. I'll give you that. Even though we already uh, had a little bit of an explanation about how back in the day. We didn't have the uh, same control schemes and things like that. I'm gonna sneeze. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, we did have people who would hide 
No. No, 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 no. What? People who would hide upstairs and shoot things from a distance, and people who would get in the thick of it and spend several attempts killing a shambler from, you know, mano a mano sort of thing. Rarely gonna work too well in the general case. I have no armor. Does that mean I killed this? No. I was just wondering why they opened. It might have been a timer thing, or it might have been, you know, I might have pressed something. I don't know. I thought maybe that the killing the shambler triggered those uh, zombies to awaken. But I didn't because it's not dead. Nothing to say. Wow. Well done. Also, there's a lot of uh, impetus applied to my character model just now as a result of being shot in the face with a lightning bolt. Didn't realise it had that much uh, momentum associated with it. Maybe you can get somebody else to help you with a lightning jump in co-op. Did they have co-op? They must have done. Doom had co-op, right? How much more HP have you possibly got? Here's a rocket. Okay. <laughs> At least this is possibly a more likely candidate for shell-based combat. Pretty sure shamblers will also just, yeah, claw at you if you get too close. Which is useful because I can dodge that too. I haven't hurt as much as I expected. Oh, rockets. Yeah, that one looks fine. Okay, cool. Well, we've done the difficult part of it before we've done the easy part of it, I think. So, well done, us. Let's push this button now. And another button. Run away. Yeah. I'm okay with this. this. No more traps. Hooray! Oh, I've been sat down way too long. I need to go for a run or something. <laughs> Funny joke. I know. Walk through the... Yeah. Why is this... I don't know why they use these messages. I like how some of them are a little bit sarcastic, but it's very strange. Right, we've got one of three secrets. I'm going to have one more look through this level. See if we can figure out Another secret. Also, two more alive things that need to not be. I don't know where they are. I can tell you what they are, because I can hear them. <clears throat> They're asleep. <laughs> Through that blinking wall somewhere. Where you at, my dogs? Hmm. Not up here. There's nothing up here. Also, keep an eye out for them secrets. Like, this seems like a ripe place for a secret, don't you think? Like in the wall? The only time you see this person's hand. <laughs> it does happen, I promise. And his face, why? Why does your face look like that? <laughs> the only thing I can think of is that there might be secrets in the lava. And I'm not prepared to find that one out. <laughs> it's way out of my job description is to jump in lava without protection. Just to see. Yeah? I think. It's not on the cards right now, that's for sure. Maybe for your birthday. Heck it, I don't care. Let's leave. One of three, blah, 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 blah. Uh, this is a 44 minute episode, so I'm going to stop it there because I didn't realise that time was getting away with us. Thank you for watching. I hope that you've enjoyed, enjoyed it. Hope you've joined the joy, joy, and I hope you will join me for the next one. I'm going to go and stand up and have a drink. Oh, I forgot about my tea. I didn't even finish it. I'll go and make a new cup of tea. And that's me for today. So thank you for watching. Hope you've enjoyed this episode, and I'll see you in the next one. Good day.